Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty, traders, we're going to have a look at the we're going to look at look at the longer term pictures, the longer term picture in this video here to see what the longer term picture. <laughs> How many times can I say longer term picture in this video? So we're going to be looking at that long term picture, guys. Uh, I'm going to start with the Dow Jones in this video and see uh, what those longer term pictures, what the longer term picture is really, really telling us. So the obviously what's happened right now is we can see that it's pretty much just sideways. You know what I mean? Like as you can, as we know, right, for the last couple of years, pretty much just sideways. The really interesting thing is I am noticing right now is that there's a lot of IPOs that are coming out and that coming out in the marketplace, and you know, and you'll know that the uh, the tech bubble, right? When when the tech bubble happened, guess what? At the at the peak of it, or around about the peak of it, is when there was all these IPO IPOs coming out. Makes sense. So it's really interesting to see what's happening here on the Dow Jones, but nothing really, uh, not nothing really too clear about forming some sort of a topping pattern. Not just yet, anyway. Um, if we do start to roll over here on that daily chart, then that could, that could, that could spell, if we do start to see a move down, then it, all right, let me start again here in the, in the, in the weekly chart and in the daily chart, right? We've got this potential shoulder head and maybe another shoulder here. Okay. Through here. So shoulder head shoulder. If that is a head and shoulder on the daily chart and we start to roll over and we head down, then on that weekly chart, that weekly chart here could be spelling uh, that well, on the weekly chart, what's going to happen? We're going to start to see what? We're going to start to start to see this probably roll over, come down. And if that comes down through there, then there's a very good chance, even if it comes down, that comes back down to here, that what? We're likely to even maybe break it lower, create a lower low, and then rally back up, create our lower high, and then head back down from there as well too. Now that whole thing here, we could head down for a month, we could pull back for two months, or maybe even a month and a half, and then go and then go for another month, another run for a month. Makes sense. So that's what that's what could be in the makings right now. I'm not saying that's definitely going to be in the make. That's definitely what's going to happen. But keep an eye on that daily chart because that daily chart, if we do start to roll over on that daily chart, you bet believe we're going to start to move. And I'm so excited for this volatility, guys. You know what I mean? Like for me as a trader, the the last couple of years have been um, the. Uh, I've had less, less, less of tr lesser trades because of because of the lack of volatility in the market. But when this thing starts to move and we start to trend again, oh my goodness, it's going to be amazing. So moving on to the S and P five hundred, and we can see sort of the same sort of same sort of thing, right? We've had this big move up, and now we're just sort of just not not really doing much here. But that daily chart, if we start to roll back over and we start to get a, a big, if we start to go up and then we start to have a big move back down again gonna be the same sort of thing as well too. Now if we go over say to the transportation average, the transports is really interesting to see what's going on through here. So if we go have a look at the transports on the weekly chart, and if my <laughs> if my software um, figures that out, let me delete that off the screen because we don't need that anymore. Um, we can pretty much see that, yeah, let me delete that off the screen here. We can pretty much see that we had this high, pretty much an equal high through here. So an equal high through here. So it'll be really interesting to see like what 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 sort of plays that is because we did because we did already create this lower low through here. We rallied back up. Is, are we are we about to if are we about to start to break this 180? If we break this 180 level, then it's probably going to head back down to there on that 155 level. Now based on that, based on that, guess what? Now the market runs if the market runs down. Then there's a very good chance that guess what? Then we're likely to start seeing some sort of rolling over action. And remember guys, remember a crash, a recession, a market movement. We're talking about the weekly chart here, by the way, okay? A, 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 if we'd like to see a 50% correction in the market, that's likely to take 12 months to two years to happen, okay? So don't be trying to jump in now and try to pick the top because, hey, it may not be the top. It may hold here, create some sort of high low, and then rally back up. That's where you need to flow and flow with it. it Makes sense? And so that, that's what's really important to you. And make sure at the end of the day, guys, make sure that you are trading your trading system and make sure you've got some sort of trading system and trading rules that you are following. Now, if you don't if you don't even have a trading system or if you're looking for a trading system, I've actually got two very good trading systems in the Master Trader Lab. 
And you can get a free trial to that to mastertraderlab.com. That's mastertraderlab.com. Log in there, you'll be able to see the two different trading systems. Pick pick one of them and see which one works for you best and start to apply that because you can start to start to actually move forward in a big way um, you know, in your trading as well too, okay? But make sure you're sticking to the trading rules and make sure you're being diligent. And especially when the market is very choppy right now, there's not a lot going on. Sometimes the market can go very, very quiet on you, okay? And, and when there's not a lot of trades, that's where it's gonna test your patience. I remember watching a video just recently from Warren Buffett and Warren Buffett said that, um, that one of the reasons why, or he didn't say one of the reasons why he's so successful, but the, what made him so successful is he will he will sit and he'll wait and he'll wait and he'll wait and he'll wait as long as he has to until he until he finds exactly what he's looking for. So that's exactly what you should be doing as well too. In this choppy market right now, so many traders are getting chopped around because one day it's up, one day it's down, one day it's up, one day it's down. And the people that are smart are on the sidelines keeping their powder dry and waiting for a really, really, really good opportunity. Hey traders, thanks for watching my YouTube video. I've just released a brand new training. It's 100% free training, and you're gonna learn the my number one most powerful trading technique, a slash chart reading technique that I use that actually helps me get up to a 90% success rate. I use it, it's a very big part of my trading system. You're gonna absolutely love this. This is what I call going with the stream. So when you pick it, when you, when you find big, big strong currents in the markets, that's what this is all about. So very first thing in the description below, guys, go click on that and you can go register or you can go get access, instant access to this free training right now and start to apply this to your trading right now. So click on the very first thing in the description below and go get free access to this training and get instant access right now.